This is a demonstration of our course, The Spine, Anatomy, Biomechanics, and Disease. It has a narration on every page, but I've muted it for this demonstration. The menu at the left that the skeleton points to is the welcome. It shows how to use this course. Meet your assistants, learning objectives, and then we get into the spine basics. And um, each section has a brief introduction. If we click Build a Spine Part 1, we right away have a nice interactive piece, drag and drop, to show even someone with zero understanding of the spine, building up from the fundamentals, showing how the spine functions. And when we finish, it collapses. What just happened? So we go to Build a Spine Part 2, and we see that we have to drag elastic stabilization bands to the spine to give it some rigidity. So now the learner has a basic understanding that the spine is composed of uh, discs and vertebrae, and uh, they need to be stabilized in some fashion. So now we discuss the functional spinal unit, which is how the, uh, the spine is usually studied and described. It consists of two vertebrae and a disc. And here we introduce a new feature we have where you can drag the ball to control the animations on the screen. And we see that different uh, features are named as we rotate it. And text appears on the screen explaining what's going on. So we can go back and forth. This is the disk under load. This is the disk with no load. So the disk gets a little compressed between the vertebrae due to the load it uh, undergoes. If we look at a spine overview, we can see uh, the different portions of the spine. And again, it's rotating 360 degrees. Uh, we define the plumb line um, and then return to the um, original view. So nice little way to get eye candy. And common problems we summarize uh, a few of the common problems you have with the spine. There's a recap for the spine basic section and then a little interactive test. You click on a spinal process to proceed and then you go to the next. Click on a region that does not contain inter intervertebral grill discs. Uh, correct. And go on and so forth. Then we jump to the spine anatomy and now we're getting a little more uh, detailed about uh, the anatomy of the spine. And we include little tips like this periodically. And we have uh, go into a little more detail there. And it adds a little bit of an interest. Then we dig down a little deeper into external vertebral structure. And again here we look at just one vertebra, uh, naming the different elements of it and have a little guy that represents the orientation of the vertebra. So you can tell that now the vertebra is uh, basically in a vertical position and now the, this is the bottom part, of the underside of the vertebra. Um, we can jump to the look at the internal vertebral structure. And again, we have another help here uh, that gives you more detailed information. Intervertebral discs, we peel it apart show the interior, and so on and so forth. We go through the facet joints, FSU, the ligaments, um, which are the, the main ligaments of the spine that we can turn on and off. These are the ligaments of the spinal unit. Um, we discuss the different regions of the spine. We look in detail at the cervical region, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and anatomical comparisons of the various bones. By dragging the ball, we can see the morphological differences between bones from different regions. Then we go through the major ligaments, the back muscles. That's kind of a nice one. Um, highly interactive again, stripping away the muscles, going into detail. Um, explaining a very complicated subject in a simple way. 
vertebral arteries, the nerves. We have another recap and another interactive quiz um, that again is very similar to the initial uh, interactive quiz. Okay, so proceeding, we see that um, we have to click on the right pedicle. Remember, this is the, the patient. Okay, so proceeding, we see that um, we have to click on the right pedicle. Remember, this is the, the patient's right, so that's right. Since the inferior view, the right pedicle is on your left. And then we go on through the, the whole thing again. We get into spine biomechanics. We talk about forces. We have a little pop-up help thing. Um, we look at muscle actions, where we can drag the ball to show that muscles can only contract apply force when they contract. Um, we look at compression and tension, shear forces, toroidal forces, and again we use our our models to convey what these forces really mean. Uh, range of motion in the cervical spine. Again including animation. If we jump to diseases of the spine, we can look at degenerative diseases, osteoporosis, uh, central stenosis, foraminal stenosis. Just picking one of those, we can see what happens to the spine um, where the, the foramen gets closed here, and that's foraminal stenosis. Uh, we cover trauma, uh, and we have uh, for example, a flexion distraction fracture, and we go through it, illustrating how we arrive at such a condition and what defines it. We can jump down to deformities. We've got scoliosis, hyperlordosis, and again we can drag to compare different uh, images, bring up different images in this case. Uh, the spondies are interested, interesting because they're not related to each other. Uh, they just uh, have a similar name, but they're they're often confused. So that's why uh, we broke them up. And we show the different cases that you can have. Again, with th 3D rotating views. Uh, talk about tumors, and then we have recap and another test, self-assessment. We get into images. I didn't cover the common. Common interventions is pretty good here because here we have the P lift, T lift, A lift, um, X lift, and here have the animations here um, that we did for a client, spine wave. So there's a lot of material in this course with uh, just one easy to navigate menu. You always know where you are, etc. Um, techniques talking about how x-rays uh, are made. Um, we get into computed tomography, computed tomography, giving people an idea of how um, it works, and an actual uh, reconstructed tomograph. We discuss MRIs. very common and popular imaging technique and we get into uh, the basics of what uh, the physics behind how MRI works very basic level and um, how we the different types of MRI 
uh, weightings you can use. Um, then again, you've got a final exam, which um, covers a lot and gives you feedback. This covers a lot of material and gives you feedback, but this time you only have one chance. Sorry, on to the next question. It does explain the correct answer, which you have to go next. And um, again, you get feedback, and at the end of this, you get a score. <coughs> it also includes a nice glossary, which pronounces each word if you click on it. And you can scroll down in alphabetical order, and you have all the uh, the terms that have been referenced. And um, there you have it. That's basically a nice spine course. Probably take people several hours uh, to get through it, but when they come out of this, they'll have a pretty good uh, working knowledge of the spine, its diseases, and uh, what. Um, what are some of the treatments? Um, here we've got you know, your glossary, email, uh, send an email, or more insight courses. Of course, there's only one other insight course, which is uh, basic anatom anatomy and anatomical directions.